I'm going to do a bit of a Christmas crafts and stock and filler haul because um, over the last few weeks I've bought quite a few things that I want to use either to make Christmas cards or to make stock and fillers so I just thought I'd show you what I've bought. So I'll start over here. Firstly I bought just two bags of craft gift bags and um, so there's five in each pack um, and they're just to put little things in obviously they're white so I've got those. I then got a craft pack. So the reason I got these is because I'm going to make um, some candle snowmen, um, which for that I needed uh, black stickers for the, like, the eyes and the buttons. And these were the only black stickers I could find in the range. Um, and it was in a pack. But I thought, you know what? I'll definitely make use of the whole pack at some point. So it's just a pack um, of stickers. It's got some scissors. Um, and like little card pieces and foil cards so lots of stuff in there I then got a glue stick I mean I just realized I've actually already got one but I mean they always come in useful because I'm always doing little random things so I got just one of those print sticks I picked up two packs of these cards so these are just a6 blank cards and um, they are packs of 10 so I've got 20 of those because I'm going to make Christmas cards this year. I do usually make Christmas cards. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd get those. And then to go with that, I actually got this um, like book of paper. So it is filled with lots of designs, which are obviously Christmas themed. They're really cute as well. They're just quite different, to be honest. I've never seen anything like this so i thought that would be cute and then there's also a bunch of like christmas print paper as well um and even some like foiled bits so i thought this would come in really useful when creating the christmas cards but also just for other things as well because there's even things you could use as gift tags um so that's really cool so i could use those as well so as i said that's just a nice big book of paper I've got some things that I got last year, but I just thought I'd show you because I will be using them. Um, so it's just some coloured string and then some normal string as well. They were from Wilkinson's. Wilkinson's normally have a really good range of Christmas um, like wrapping stuff. So yeah, I got those last year, but I will be using them. Um, I then got these again from the range. So packs of little like Christmas craft things. We've got reindeer. I thought they were really cute with the glitter. Snowman. We've got some robins. And also some Christmas gifts. So I thought I would put them on the little packs of fudge that I'm doing. So again, you will see them come into use later. And also for the fudge, I got these white tags just so I can wrap them around it to say what flavour it is. I mean, a lot of them you can tell um, because some of the chocolate's on the top. But for any that you can't tell, um, I thought I'd just add one of those so the person buying it knows what it is. I also got this. Now, this was kind of a random purchase, but I used to use glitter glue all the time when I was little. It definitely feels... Um, nostalgic so i just wanted to get them and i thought i could definitely probably use them on the christmas cards or something so just a pack of 10 colored glitter glue pens i then got some just like sparkly circular stickers um probably for the snowmen if not they'll probably come in handy for something else and i am somebody that really enjoys doing crafts um, all year round so although a lot of these are for christmas if anything obviously doesn't get um used i will just keep them in my little stock for other occasions so we've got some red and some silver i then picked up some ribbon these again are for the snowmen so i got just a red and a green which has glitter throughout and then some other things that i got um i got some chocolates from lidl just to put in obviously with these stocking fillers so just some little milk chocolate balls and then some milk chocolate bears. So I thought they were quite cute and obviously Lidl is very reasonably priced. And these, um, I actually got these from that shop. I don't know how to pronounce it. I got these in Amsterdam and they are crackers. So I thought they were cute. I think I'll use maybe like the red or green ribbon instead of the yellow just to make it a little bit more festive. Uh, but I think I've got five of those. Yeah. 
five of those just to put some things in now here's the things that are going to be going in the stocking fillers so as well as being a body shop or home consultant me and my mom are also party like consultants um so something that i saw which i thought would be really fun is people have made stocking fillers where they get uh, tea lights and they make them look like snowmen so i've ordered a bunch of tea lights so i've got some different scents and then what i'm also going to do with the other ones that aren't white is they are going to go either in the crackers or those little boxes with some chocolate so i've got them in the scent cranberry what's this one peppermint snowflake there was white ones winter berries and this one is marshmallow vanilla and then in these boxes these are really really good little gift size anyway however they have different scents in so these have ice snowberries blueberry tart and juicy red apple so again the same situation these white ones will get used for the snowmen and then the blue and the red will go into their little boxes so that's everything i've got i'm now going to sit and basically start to put those um stocking fillers together some of which i am giving to friends and family myself but obviously as i am a party like consultant i will be selling some as well so yeah that's my little haul So first things first, wrap and paper. Now, I originally picked this one up from Primark, which is four pound. Um, and it's obviously very traditional Christmas. It's got red and green. Um, and this was the theme that I was gonna go for. But then I changed my mind because the baubles you've probably seen on our Christmas tree are colorful. So this year I thought I'd go for a colourful theme. So I got this on Etsy. Uh, I think obviously it's an actual brand, but there was somebody like selling this brand. Um, so I thought I'd get these. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I paid like £15, which I think is quite a lot because they are just 1.5 metre rolls. But the colours were spot on. So, and you know, I am obviously supporting um, either a small business or someone um selling these anyway so i kind of feel like i can justify it that way so we've got a kind of like navy blue with patterns on we've got um two white ones that have lots of colorful decorations and words and then we've got a red one as well so they're the kind of colors that i'm going for and then i saw this in home bargains which i thought would be really really useful because this is 12 meters so that is a lot of um wrapping paper uh definitely a lot more than them ones anyway so i thought you know this was just 99p so i think if you're ever going to buy wrapping paper uh home bargains would definitely recommend it's obviously gray with all these colored lights which i thought were cute and it obviously goes 
so yeah that is the wrapping paper that i've got and i will now show you the gifts firstly i got these two um i thought they were really cute from marks and spencers they're little percy pig planters with succulents in it's also got a christmas hat in but what i like is you can actually take the christmas hat out so after christmas it's still going to be something obviously you can have in the house so i've got these for james's cousins because i think they would find those cute and then for james's auntie he bought well I mean, I picked it up, but he told me what he wanted. Just a family frame. He's going to put some pictures in. Um, that was $3.99 from the range. I thought that was nice. Grandma and Grandad, um, they mentioned they wanted an air fryer. And they are kind of into, like, gadgets and things, um, especially my Grandad. And, um, yeah, I just thought they would like that. So I bought this on very, it's about £51 something, I think. But I didn't want a cheap one because, obviously, I want it to last and, it, you know, to be good quality. So... A swan air fryer which i thought was cool i'll show you this last because i need to get that out of the box um from matalan i ordered some bits for my granddad so we've got some handkerchiefs in these blue colors just kind of like a staple thing that i think um older men would like and then i also got um, oh i don't know why this was in the bag i must have just put it in there before but I got this PS4 game for my dad called Railway Empire. So he likes trains and I thought, I mean, I don't really know much about the game, but I thought it was quite cool. I think he might play it. Um, and that was about £25 off ferry. And then I also got my granddad this scarf. Again, just kind of like a staple thing to have. And he goes on quite a few walks at the minute, I think. So I thought this would be good for winter. It was just £6. quite like the pattern. I also got this for my granddad, which is just a Ted Baker aftershave. It's not an expensive one because I thought, like, I don't really know what scents he likes. But I thought the bottle was pretty and, yeah, just something to go with that bits I got him. I also packed up some tea lights for my mum because she's always lighting um, wax in her wax burners. And I just thought they'd come in handy. And they're just from Party Light. I mean, we're both consultants, but... I bought quite a lot of different uh, tea lights to do up some gift sets. So I thought I'd save a few for her because I know she'll use those. Then for my dad, I got these um, shandies. So they come in cans. I've taped that together obviously because I opened the box. So oh, this one's open, so I'll actually show you. This is what they look like. So they're just shandy cans. Um, you heard about these on the radio. Um, I mentioned them in my small business haul, but he really wanted to try those. So I think that I got them for my dad. I mean, don't ask, but he always asks for this calendar. Not really sure why. It's like really cheap. It's like a very kind of traditional one, I think. So I've got him that. For James, I got him um, this thing for his car. Uh, because his windscreen always like fogs up and he, ha he has a little sponge that's for the windscreen but he always struggles to reach with it so when i saw this obviously it's got a little stick i thought that would be really useful that was just from lidl as well so it's just like a few pound for my cat um at my mum and dad's anyway obviously not here um i got this little collar which is silver got a little bell on it um i got one of these before in yellow and it was really good quality um so yeah, I thought I'd get her a little call for Christmas. I got a drink and dice for our friends. Um, just because, I mean, when things are normal, um, if we ever drink, we drink with all. So I thought, we'd just get this. It's just a bit of fun. And that was from Home Bargains. James picked this um, tree decoration up for his mum in the range because they've got hedgehogs in the garden. Um, so I think he's given this to her for Christmas because obviously... You know, it's going to go on the Christmas tree. And although it's quite late, obviously, she'll be able to bring it out in future years. And I'm just thinking right now, like, how cute that actually is. I've got that. For my dad, I actually forgot I got this one. Um, So I got him just a cool blue um set that has, like, an aftershave and a body wash. I just got that from Home Bargains, just a few pounds. But basically, I went to Home Bargains weeks and weeks ago. And I basically just picked up some little sets in the event that everywhere closed because um, I was panicking a bit. So I got my dad that. For my sister, I got a um, glow away like, set because um, she really likes fake tan. So I thought, I mean, that'll definitely come in handy for her. 
so it's got obviously a fake tan and it's got a remover as well so i thought that would be handy and then for my mum i got a little set again home bargains when i got them set um it's just a little set of a wax burner because she's got one but it is very huge so i thought she would um like a new one and then it's got some tea lights to go under it, under it which i thought was useful and also a little oil so i thought that was cool um these are actually from my mum for my sister so i need to give her those for james i got him a newcastle united key ring it's got a bottle opener key ring and a torch as well that was just 5.99 he is obviously a newcastle fan and he doesn't have anything like this so i thought that would come useful so for james i got him a racing card game which i thought he would like because he has got a golf um which is obviously volkswagen so i thought he would probably find that fun and we quite like to play card games so i thought that'll come in handy i then got a few bits in this corner um from body shop so i've got two festive berry hand washes i think i'm going to give one to my mom and one to my grandma because i thought they will come in really useful because obviously everyone's like washing their hands but obviously they smell nice uh for one of james's cousins she's really into like body shop stuff so i got her this cute little sweet shower gel trio um and then a festive berry bath bomb and a mango bath bomb in there from the body shop and then my sister picked this from the body shop it's the japanese cherry blossom fragrance mist so she picked that herself, um, so I'll pop that in with her presents. I've also got her some other things that haven't arrived yet. So other than that, I think I've pretty much got everything. Um, oh, and I've also got her that bath bomb for my sister from uh, Bubble Trouble, which is a small business that I found on Instagram. For James's mum, we got this Marks and Spencer's gin, which I'm sure everyone saw, um, but it's got glitter in it. It is so pretty and it also lights up. Let me see if I can show you. I honestly, I'm so jealous. I kind of want it myself, but um, yeah, I thought it would make a really nice gift. Obviously, she can keep it after it's got lights in. Um, it was £18 and it is rhubarb flavoured, so really really pretty makes a really good gift um and yes yeah, so i got that we also got her a plant uh from max and spencer's but it's downstairs because obviously we keep water in it just to try and keep it alive before christmas uh for my mom we've got her a little radley shopper i'm not gonna lie this is smaller than i expected however i thought this would be perfect if she's just going like to the corn shop um, and just wants to take a little bag instead of her handbag because usually she'll go out with her purse but not her handbag um, and obviously she'll probably end up getting more than what she expects so I just thought it would come in useful it's Radley because she really likes the brand um, and it's a really nice pattern she wears a lot of navy and I just thought yeah it was really cute um, I think this was about £12 um, so obviously Radley handbags are a lot more expensive um, but we actually got her one a few years back and it was obviously really good but the quality like it didn't last very long so i thought with that i mean you can't go wrong for 12 pounds so got her that james got this cardigan for his cousin um it's like a where is it michelle keegan one which is really nice feels really good quality as well um obviously i can't really show it very well because it's a cardigan got that wrapped to wrap up um, and then James got a couple of celebrations for some family members. So I'm going to wrap those up. And then this is what was in the big box. So it's a Scale Electrics game. Um, but it actually has two F1 cars, which I thought was quite cool. Because um, this is going to be a gift, like a joint gift for James and my dad. I mean, they're obviously not going to really play it much um, with the whole situation at the minute. Uh, but when things hopefully go back to normal. Um, I used to have something like this when I was younger and I loved it. James loves the F1 and when I ask my dad what he wants for Christmas or his birthday, usually he'll say as a joke, a scale electrics. I mean, he's always joking, but I thought actually they'll probably play that. So I thought I'd get it as like a joint present. It was about 40, 50 pound, which I thought considering you'll keep it like forever. Um, I didn't think that was too bad. And like I said, it's actually got two F1 cars and James loves F1 and so does his friends. So even if they come round, um, yeah they'll probably just play it as just um a little bit of a laugh so thought i'd get that and then i've also received today these baby girls for lucy's baby oh, how cute is that so just a few baby girls and then for her 
from Spider-Man. I mean, this actually looks really cute. So I've got those. James got the bo them boxing gloves for his brother and them chocolates for his dad. So I think now I'm just waiting for my sister's stuff. But I do know that they're on the way. I also thought I'd quickly show you the little snowmen that I was making. So I did a little speed um, video of doing them. Um, and obviously this is what I was talking about doing when I showed you what I bought, like craft wise. Um, so these are the little snowmen. They've got three party like tea lights and a little bag. We had a bit of a nightmare because the bags we had didn't fit uh, the candles. We had to buy some more. They've got a little scarf and some little buttons. And I just think they're really cute and make really good stocking fillers. So, as I said, this video will probably be up um, when it's either too late, <laughs> probably, or after Christmas. But maybe next year, if anybody's thinking of doing something similar, they are a really good um, idea for stocking fillers. So, I was going to watch a Christmas film, but obviously I won't be really paying attention. So, instead, I've just popped some Christmas music on. So Jess's trainers have arrived, so I've wrapped them up and then I've just received these as well. So now I think other than a few bits I want to go and pick up um, out, maybe like at home bargains or something, um, I'm done. So a little weekly planner, which is cute, it's got little spots on and then a matching scrunchie. So that is all of the wrapping done, for now at least. <laughs> um, I just want to pop to Home Bargains and buy a few extra pieces to wrap. Um, as I said, I've kind of like coordinated things. So they're James's, Jess's, uh, my mum and grandma, my dad and granddad. Um, and then these are either joint presents or for James's family. If it's for James's family, they've got a, a tag on. Um, obviously so they know whose is whose but as I'll be giving presents to like my mum and dad and sister um, I haven't obviously put any tags on because I know what's what um, so that's everything there and then I've got um, Lucy's children's gifts there I did like a little glitter tag thing on them hence why they're up there drying but yeah I'm really excited now I um, feel a lot more productive now that everything's wrapped so I think I'm going to crack on, don't mind my cold and flu tablet, um, I'm going to crack on making Christmas cards and then I think I'm going to bake later as well.